Ever wondered why Mars is red and the moon is a dusty gray? They're both rocky, silicate worlds, just like our Earth. So why the dramatic difference in color? What gives a planet its unique complexion? The color of a planet is not just for show. It's a planetary fingerprint, a story written on its surface telling us about its components, its chemistry, and its history. And the main authors of this story are the minerals and elements that make up its rocky crust. Let's investigate the cosmic color palette that paints our solar system. First, let's explore the darker shades. What makes a rocky planet look dark, or even black? A big part of the answer lies in common rock-forming minerals that are rich in iron and magnesium, like pyroxene and olivine. The more iron these minerals contain, the darker they appear, because they are excellent at absorbing sunlight rather than reflecting it back into space. Then there's carbon. Primitive asteroids, some of the oldest objects in our solar system, are often coated in dark carbon-based compounds, making them appear almost pitch black. But perhaps the most fascinating darkening process is something called space weathering. A world with no atmosphere to protect it, like our moon or Mercury, for billions of years, its surface is bombarded by a constant stream of high-energy solar wind and tiny micrometeorites. This relentless cosmic sandblasting actually cooks the surface rocks. It breaks down iron-bearing minerals and creates a vast number of microscopic particles of pure metallic iron, what scientists call nanophase iron. These tiny iron particles are incredibly effective at absorbing light, creating a dark, dusty layer over the original rock. This is why the moon's surface, despite its composition, is a muted dark gray. It's literally been weathered into a darker shade by space itself. So what about the brighter, warmer colors? What turns a planet red? The number one suspect is a very familiar culprit, rust. Yes, the same process that attacks old cars is responsible for Mars's iconic color. The Martian soil is incredibly rich in iron. Over eons, this iron has reacted with small amounts of oxygen and water, creating huge quantities of iron oxide, or rust. This rusty dust covers the entire planet, reflecting red light back at our telescopes and giving Mars its nickname, the Red Planet. But rust isn't the only way to get a reddish hue. When we travel to the freezing outer edges of the solar system, we find another coloring agent. On distant worlds like Pluto and its moon Charon, we see surfaces stained with reddish-brown patches. This color doesn't come from rust. Instead, it's from complex organic molecules called tholins. Tholins are created when ultraviolet light from the sun strikes simple molecules like methane and nitrogen. This solar radiation triggers chemical reactions that build up these simple molecules into complex, sticky, reddish gunk. It's an alien kind of organic chemistry that paints these frigid worlds in warm tones. And what about just being bright, but not necessarily red? For that, we look to minerals like feldspar and quartz. These are common on Earth in rocks like granite. They are naturally light in color and are very good at reflecting sunlight. If a planet's crust is dominated by these minerals and it hasn't undergone extensive space weathering, it will appear much brighter and lighter in color. And of course, ice is also one of the most common source of a bright surface, but not necessarily water ice. It can also be carbon dioxide ice, methane ice, ammonia ice, or even nitrogen ice. The type of ice depends on how far it is from the sun and how cold it is. For example, on Mars, the polar camps are a mix of water ice and carbon dioxide ice. On more distant bodies like Pluto and Neptune's moon Triton, it's so cold that nitrogen and methane exist as solids, forming bright, reflective surfaces. So the color of a rocky planet is a chemical story. A dark gray world tells a tale of space weathering and iron-rich volcanic rock. A bright red planet speaks of an ancient rusty past, and a distant reddish-brown dwarf planet hints at exotic organic chemistry powered by a faint sun. Next time you look up at the night sky, remember that those points of light are not just bland rocks. Each one has a unique complexion, a color that gives us a clue to its secret history, waiting to be explored.